Hi friends, welcome to this session. And uh, today we'll see how you can use Azure file storage to move huge files from your on-premises VM to cloud. For this, you have to log into portal and then we'll create a storage account. So we'll add a storage account. Uh, I have selected subscription, uh, resource group, test POC, which I've already created. Storage account name, you can give anything which is unique. I've given move huge file storage. I will create this in location Australia East and I will leave the rest of the things as default. Uh, review and create. It will take few seconds to create the resource. And as you see it is created. Let's go to the resource. And here you will see option for file storage. We will create a file share. We will give it a name. Oh, huge files and we'll give a quota of say 100 GB create it immediately creates it if you go inside it you will see there is nothing right now there but you can actually use the upload option to create now if you go to storage accounts and from there also you can see your file share is available move huge files now we will go to Microsoft and download Azure Storage Explorer you can download this and install it on your desktop or VM where from where you want to move the files. It is available in three flavors. Windows one you can download and invoke the storage explorer. Once you invoke it, you will see it has uh, connected to my subscription and under storage accounts, I can see the storage account which I created. Within that, I will see all the different types of storage allowed, blob, file, and file share shows my file share account now here I will try to connect to create a local connection there are different ways to connect uh, you can use a connection string or you can actually use shared access signature to connect or storage account name and key this is the one which I will use today to connect so to get the storage account name and key uh, you can give a display name and then to get the account name you have to go back to the portal and go to access keys and select the storage account name from here you can click this to copy provide account name and on the same access key page in the portal you will see key one that is nothing but your access key so copy this one also and we'll provide it as account key. Now click next and connect. So you will see under local and attach, uh, your file share is there. When you click this move huge files, on the right side, you will see options like upload and download. I will click on upload. It will have two options either you can upload files or upload folder. So let's click upload folder select the folder which you want to upload this folder is huge i just want to show you that it has around 1.44 gb size files so i'll select this folder and click upload it will take a few seconds to few minutes based on whatever bandwidth you have and you see it is already uploaded now and it maintains the whole structure all the zip files are uploaded uh, the biggest file is 1.4 gb and uh, if you see the same structure in portal let's go to the portal now and under file share you will see the structure is maintained exactly like the structure was within your upload folder all the files are available you can actually operate on these files directly in portal also like edit delete add now in Story Explorer, you can select a file and click on download to download this file. Uh, file shares normally are a little costlier, but you can use blob containers, which are uh, cost wise, cost effective. So let's create a blob container in the same storage account. If you go back and click on blobs uh, container and give a name to your blob container, uh, move files to container and then I access level I am selecting as container click OK uh, container is created
created and uh, you can directly upload files from here also otherwise go back to storage explorer refresh and you will see the blob container is showing up here and we can upload the files from here upload a folder or a file i will select a folder i will upload a small file with like copy it has a very small file inside it just to show and now blob types there are different types available you can upload i will just select block blob and uncheck this option of upload vsd file as page block and upload now if you see here down in the activities it has started uploading the file and it will take few seconds because the file was too small and it is now uploaded to cloud if i go back to portal and refresh and you see the file is available here so it's so easy to move the files from your on-premise vm to cloud thank you so much for watching this session